Hello. So this is a story about being a good friend, okay? It's kind of like a Schubert and Sophie story, but this one has a dinosaur. Are you ready? It's about a dinosaur. There she is. Her name is Penelope. Hi, Penelope. The name of the story is We Do Not Eat Our Classmates. Okay? And Penelope says, Hey, kids, you won't ever be eaten by a dinosaur, I promise. They're totally extinct. So this story is pretend. It's not real. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day that a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? Will they? Will, how many teeth will they have? This was very important. So she's nervous about school. Penelope's mom bought her a brand new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. <laughs> Can you eat all those sandwiches? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so silly. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... What do you think they were? Were they dinosaurs? Were they dogs and cats? What do you think that her classmates were? Really? Alright, let's see. <gasps> Children! They were people just like you! Oh my gosh, there's her class. There's her teacher, and there's her classmates. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman, we do not eat our classmates. Please get them out of your mouth at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start the school year. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Hmm, looks like the kids are kind of scared of her. What do you think? Oh, just like the kids were scared of Spencer Spider in the Schubert book. You guys are so smart. You think you remembered that. Do you think, like, Spencer Spider, do you think they can become friends with Penelope? What do you think? All right, let's find out. Penelope started to notice everyone making friends but her. It was very lonely. Oh, man. Just like Spencer, she's lonely. When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope said. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe just a little bit. Uh-oh, you think that was a problem? Maybe. I wouldn't want to play with somebody who was eating me. Sometimes it's hard to make friends at her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just yummier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope A. William again. And they were all afraid of her. No. Uh oh. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? You think is Walter gonna be her friend? Oh jump! Uh oh. The fish tried to eat Penelope. Ow! He's eating my Oh my gosh, that fish is eating Penelope's finger. Once Penelope found out what it's like to be someone's snack, 
she did not eat the children anymore. See, she got a she got a hurt on her finger. I still, the children are not afraid of her anymore because she's not eating them anymore. <laughs> she stopped eating her classmates, even when Cece spilled barbecue sauce on herself. And so Penelope made friends. <gasps> Found you! Want a brownie? I helped make them. So they all played together and shared and had fun together. Now, even when the children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her. Mm, the king is lips. Mm, he wants to bite her. <laughs> Silly fish. Because dinosaurs are delicious. <laughs> what a silly story. So just like in that story, the kids had to learn how to be friends with a new person, right? So just like Sophie and Schubert and their friends had to be learn how to be nice to Spencer the spider, the other kids had to learn how to be friends and Penelope had to learn how to be friends together, right? Aren't those great stories? I like them too. All right, bye guys. <laughs>